afternoon I thought I'd give you a tour of my greenhouse now that I've chopped the sunflower down and there's lots more of space in there but look at all my lovely sunflowers out here they've got to be like 10 maybe 12 foot tall and that one's taller than the greenhouse look madness and all the little teddy bear sunflowers oh they're gorgeous aren't they and my dahlia I did get like four or five dahlias but that's the only one that seems to have done anything all the sweet peas are going to seed now I didn't keep up picking those these petunias I think I am rubbish with flowers anyway so the little dwarf marigolds are still doing really well I have them in the door. I also have them dotted around the place, keeping any bugs away that don't like marigolds. And the tomatoes are still doing fantastically, look. I have basil dotted around as well, a green one there, a red one here, look. And I've just planted some more yesterday, day before yesterday. I don't know if that's going to do anything, and some more over here. I think I've trod on that lot. It doesn't look that good, does it? So, another kind of red basil here. This was celery. I've chopped all the celery down today. Got that in a jar in the house. I'm going to try and freeze it, I think. There was another celery there. And there. Peppers are starting to ripen now there's two on this pepper bush um i think this is a pepper bush that i topped and there's another pepper bush under here but that actually hasn't done anything there's no pepper on it These are aubergines, beautiful flowers, but not actually an aubergine as yet. And we're halfway through October, August now, so I don't think I'm going to get one. Um, the other things that I have grown in here, apart from tomatoes, are cucumbers. These are the baby picnic lunch box size cucumbers and I've cut all the leaves off of those and I take every other one cucumber off so that one needs to go and then that one I'll let grow and then I'll take that one off and leave that one to grow and they do really well like that um, this is a grapevine, first year, no grapes, I think it's been a bit packed in here, it's kind of struggled, I don't know what that is there, another leaf maybe, and then what else do we have, melons? They've done really well. I have no clue how to grow melons. They're really heavy. I need to somehow hold them up. I don't know how I'm going to do that. But actually the plant seems to be doing quite well without any assistance. I don't know if that one there is going to come to anything. Maybe too late now. But I learnt, I was teaching, I was doing these the same as the cucumbers. I was cutting all the side shoots off. The melons don't grow on the side shoots, do grow on the side shoots, sorry I'm going bonkers today, do grow on the side shoots so cutting them off did them no good at all. All the female flowers are on the side shoots that produce the melons and all the male flowers are on the, on the, are on the main shoot. 
I also have lots of chilies in here, lots of different kinds. I don't know what they are. I will definitely look at seed packets next year. I don't like chilies, I'm just growing them because they were fun to grow. I wanted to see how well I did and I've done pretty well. I mean, this one is just absolutely packed full of chilies. I'm sure my family would be very pleased with them anyway. Cute, there's another one there. Cute melons. First year I've grown those. They've been really successful, had quite a few off. And this is another proper cucumber here going all the way over there coming back this way that's kind of about the right size there maybe a little bit more but you can see look I've cut one off here let that one grow this one should really cut off there's a side shoot cut the side shoots off They're all starting to grow back down the main stem again, look. So we'll pick them off. I don't want those growing. And um, then I had a tomatillo. They're kind of doing what they're supposed to do, but they're very small. I think I might cut this down. I've got one down in the allotment and it's much bigger. But it brings lots of bees in. There's always bees buzzing around it. And then we go on to the tomatoes. So this is Money Maker. I've grown them all from seed, apart from the tutti frutti varieties. This is a tutti frutti cherry. This is tutti frutti mandarin. And this is tutti frutti grape, which has got all of the all of these look up here. I bought them, they were grafted. They still grow in their side shoots, we don't want those, thank you. But they are absolutely gorgeous, all of them. But these are grew from seeds, money maker. Um, this one is black Russian. We had this the other night, the fresh one, that, the one that was there, picked that off. So juicy, really, really lovely. Grew those from seed. I grew these from seed as well. These are the yellow peppers. There's quite a few of those all up there too. With more flowers, they're going all the way up. Um, this one here is the Marmand. Uh, and another one, I grew this from seed. And absolutely gorgeous. So juicy. Oh, pepper plant in the way here. Let's move you out of the way. I can't tell you how juicy and so gorgeous they are and I am really not a tomato lover either. Tigerellas. Absolutely stringfuls of them. You can see their stripiness here look. Oh, sorry. Look at that. They're going up again. And then these ones here are Gigantica. These are grown from seeds. But look at this one. I mean, this one is just huge. But you can see it's at least one, two maybe three that have joined together so I'm really hoping that it doesn't rot 
I really hope that that does ripen up. It's like so big. And I grew it all myself from seed. So really happy with how my little greenhouse has turned out. I have rather stacked it full. But it's been such a pleasure. And I really hope that you've got some growing space somewhere that you can try and grow some tomatoes or some cucumbers, something that you enjoy growing them as much as I have. I will continue to update you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you do have a lovely day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.